Hey y'all, what's good? It's your boy Brandon, back on Brandon's Universe. We here, we live in this moment, and it's something serious, okay? So in this video, I'm gonna give you guys a review of Tyler Perry's new movie, Nobody's Fool, featuring Tika Sumter, Amber, Amber Riley, Tiffany Haddish, Amari Hardick, Hardwick, and Whoopi Goldberg. So I wanna start this video off by saying how much I love Tyler Perry and his work. He has created some of the funniest, most dramatic, most exciting, and innovative pieces of work. And I've enjoyed, I have a few pieces in my movie collection. I would show you, but I don't wanna right now. And it looks a mess, so, no. But, if I was to rate this movie, on a scale of one to 10, it would be a five. I give this movie a solid five, and I'm going to explain to you why. So in this movie, all of the leads played their particular parts as they needed to be played, except for one, and that was Miss Tika Sumter. I understood her character, but I never got her character because it was emotionally, everywhere you know what I mean like she was her ups and her downs and her lefts and her rights her rights were her lefts and her downs were her ups like it was just a lot of I don't know from her so that's my biggest thing about Tika in this movie um I didn't really feel anything from her until the end of the movie I'm not gonna like spoil the movie for you, but at the end, there's this moment where she has this uh, emotional awakening. And that's the only time I saw a real character from her. So, <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Tiffany Haddish does what Tiffany Haddish does. She is absolutely hilarious as always. Um, yeah. Love Tiffany Haddish, always will, always have. I will say, she played the role of the sister very well. I liked her dynamic, her up and her down and her left and her right. I I liked her dynamic, so that was that was good. Great job to me. Amber Riley, I enjoyed her character. She was she played the best friend role. She did her job as the best friend, as the co-worker, as the you know the confidant, things like that. Like she did what she was supposed to do. And she was funny, she was cute, she was slaying the whole time. Like every outfit, all her hair, everything. She just slayed the whole time. But I will say this, the movie could have been done without one of them. Tiffany wasn't needed and Amber wasn't needed together. They could have had one or the other, in my personal opinion. With both in the movie, it's great, but it's a lot of extra. So, there's that. Whoopi Goldberg played the mom in the movie and I think she did a great job. Uh, she was funny. Very comical. Um, didn't have many scenes. Didn't really have like a deep, deep character. You know what I'm saying. But um, her part that she played, she played it well. And her and Tika's relationship was really weird. Like, just really weird. Her and Tiffany made her and Tiffany's her and Tiffany's relationship made more sense than her and Tika. Like it was, it was, it was off to me. You know, it was a little weird. I, I, I didn't, I wasn't here for it. But I still love you, Whoopi. I loved your character. Get high, sis. And my favorite character in the movie was Omari Hardwick. One is that man is gorgeous. Just period. Um, great talent. Uh, he, to me, he was my favorite character in the movie. In the movie because he had the most dimension as a character. He had the most story you know what i'm saying like his character had an actual backstory and we understood his character and we understood his journey from bottom to top and that was very very nice to see and i appreciated his story i wish that tika's character had that dynamic and those dimensions but she didn't to an extent there was a little bit of backstory as to why she is who she is but Omari Hardwick, he, they broke down his whole dynamic and his, they opened our eyes to his dimensions and why he was who he was. And so that I really enjoyed. 
and he had sex with Tika, and it was great in the movie. He was hitting that thing, and she was like, uh, it was great. I enjoy it. It's very warm. Very warm. I'm getting warm again. My main issue, aside from Tika, was the storyline and how it did a lot of this. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was basically consistent, but then it was a lot of unnecessary. But then it got back to the storyline. Like, it was just a lot. You know? It was a lot for me. So, yeah. Um, as, as, as is a lot of Tyler Perry's comedies lately, he the storyline is a lot of everywhere. It's not like one consistent storyline. So, I will give this, like I said, a five out of 10. It was funny. I laughed the whole movie and I enjoyed the ending, even though it was very unrealistic and would probably never happen to majority of the people on this planet. But you know, some people are luckier than others. But yeah, whatever. <laughs> would I go see this again? No. Would I recommend you to see it? Yes. But only as a matinee or as a discounted price. Quiet as is kept. Don't spend over $10 to go see this movie. Okay. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. But definitely go support black films. Definitely go support black films. Even though this was not my favorite, it is still a film produced by basically a whole studio of, you know, people of color. So please, of course, there's a little sprinkle sprinkle of, you know, white people in there and everybody else. You know. So please go support and I thank you and black actresses and actors. Thank you all so much for watching this video. You all have a great evening, morning, afternoon whatever perpetual darkness or perpetual sun whatever you're going through today enjoy that and let's get to the positivity let's get to this money and let's get to this peace i love y'all i'll see y'all next time